uh, economics, it's easier to uh, do your economics by dividing it into four domains, one being fiscal, the other being monetary, uh, then there is infrastructure, and then there is development. So when it comes to fiscal, you would write uh, about the government policies, you would write about the fiscal health of the country, you would write about the various deficits in the country and how the problem can be solved. When it comes to monetary, it's mostly related to the banks, what ails a bank in the country, what is the solution for improving the banking sector, that's how you can go about it. Infrastructure, again, it comes about a lot, lot of things. Asset monetization is a part of infrastructure. Infrastructure would be development of roads. What are the schemes that goes on into development of roads, railways? Everything comes into the infrastructure domain. And the fourth one is development, wherein comes your problems of unemployment, problems of uh, um, labor force, uh, low, par uh, low uh, women participation in the labor force. So all these problems come under the development domain. So when you have uh, divided your entire economics into four verticals, it again becomes easier for you to follow it up. Uh, here the sources would be economic survey for your budgetary, uh, for your uh, problems dealing various sectors, budget for the various allocations that the government has made and the various schemes that the government has made in this regard. For instance, if there's a question on textile sector, you find in the budget that there's a scheme called PM Mitra. And you can always use it. It will, uh, uh, it will add value to your answer, definitely. And then newspaper, the, again, the various schemes that are announced are mostly uh, announced in the newspapers as well or are covered comprehensively in the newspaper as well. So your, your notes would already have them. <coughs> 